Hello all and welcome back to Count On Me. I'm Alicia. This week's video is of the storage and function of my bathroom. Last week I showed you my bathroom makeover and its current updates. This week I will be showing you a reset of the item stored and how it functions in this space. I've inserted a recap of last week's video to remind you of the layout. In the space I have a standard builder grade double door vanity cabinet, a modified off the shelf two door kitchen pantry cabinet, and a small linen closet. As stated earlier, I have modified this small bathroom to custom fit my needs on each door I added over the door hooks. Over the toilet area, I've used three IKEA shelves that are used for storage and display. This is an image before the reset. This is the right side under the sink. This storage unit has two slide out wire drawers. This allows me to maximize the space on the right side of the cabinet. This image is of the tall modified cabinet beside the vanity. These are three supporting brackets for a set of four IKEA trays. These trays keep the clutter off the vanity surround. As I open the cabinet doors, you can see I added three pieces of sheet metal into the door panels. Or so I thought. The center sheet turns out to be aluminum or something that has no magnetic hole. On that sheet, I added strips of adhesive magnetic tape. Moving to the interior of the cabinet, I've used three metal slide-out units for each shelf in the lower portion of the cabinet. For the top opening space, I've used two white movable wire shelves. These interior items are mostly found and used in kitchen storage and organization. But why limit their use and function to just the kitchen? Moving back to the door panels, I cleaned up the magnetic tape edges by cutting straight lines on either side. I attached hooks, clips, holders, and plain magnets to the top panel in the storage cabinet. This setup establishes the foundation to organize my items. This image is the before of my linen closet. As you can see, I was wasting valuable space and had the everyday use items at a level that was not most comfortable. So I emptied out the closet for a fresh reset. I again would be using the same wire shelves, basket and cube storage unit. On the large wire shelves, I used a white laminate sheet of plywood to give me a cheap, flat, even surface that nothing could fall through. I then purged expired items, made donations of unwanted items, and sorted the items to be kept. In the small vanity cabinet, to the right I kept the two drawer wire unit. In the top wire drawer, I have my bath salt, bubble bath, candles, and lighter. In the second drawer, I have a basket for my panty liners. Under that, I have an extra shower curtain. To the left, I added a long wire shelf and a basket. This allows me to maximize the space. Under the wire shelf, I house plug-ins, handles, and attachments to cleaning tools, and in the basket, I house cleaning formulas. In the tall cabinet, I've used an assortment of trays and baskets in combination that take up the space of the slide outs. These baskets and trays can also hold items that make the most of the vertical space. In the top slide out that's in arm's reach of the vanity, I placed everyday grooming items and essential oils. In the second slide out, directly below the first, I have our overflow of shaving creams and lotions. On the third slide out, I have our overflow or stockpile of shower gels and soap. Slide out two and three have identical tall baskets that again allow me to take advantage of the vertical space and maximize my storage. 
As you see the cabinet doors, notice that I have rearranged the magnetic clips in three storage containers. I have lowered them to the last piece of sheet metal. Also note that any of the IKEA trays that hang on the outside of the cabinet can also hang on the interior of the cabinet door. As we move to the top piece of sheet metal, I've kept the hooks and the magnets. I've added scissors, a handheld double-sided mirror, and grooming tools. As we move to the top inside of the cabinet, I've used wire shelves, baskets, storage drawers, a battery-operated light stick, and a mug for creative and efficient storage and organization options. The light allows me to see to the back of the cabinet. The drawers and basket corral like items and slide out easily without mess. In this lower basket, I have gel nail polish and the gel nail polish dryer. In the above small three drawer organizer, I have his and her razors and handles. Wax and items are also neatly separated in this three drawer unit. To the right in the small basket, I have other grooming items such as battery operated shavers, mirrors, and a brush. On the top shelf, in a taller pink basket, I have larger bottles of cleaning solutions or items I use to make cleaning solutions, peroxide, baking soda, alcohol, witch hazel. I have another wire shelf and it has spray bottles. Not easily seen in this image, but on those magnetic strips, I have an assortment of hairpins. Moving back to the linen closet, this time you'll see that I've added a few more baskets to the closet and I've tried to organize items in a way that are most efficient for their use. Starting with a well lit overview of the space, you'll see that I have maximized the storage from bottom to top. You'll notice that I've placed the most frequently used items, towels, hand towels, washcloths, in the most convenient standing arm reach position. The items I use less frequently, I've placed above and below the towels. I've used a collection of baskets and shelves in this linen closet to help maximize the width and height of each shelf. This is a double drawer slide out that's used to corral like items. In the lower drawer, I have gels and edge controls. In the top drawer, I have shower caps or processing caps, hair drying towel, cold washes, and deep conditioners. To the right, I have a hooded dryer. On the shelf above, I have two matching baskets. To the right, I have an overflow of facial products and oral hygiene products. To the left, I have my personal stash of favorite body cleansing products that I use at home and I take with me when I travel. On the third and fourth shelf from the bottom, I have coordinating baskets. This basket contains hair products. The taller of the two baskets to the right contains hair tools. Above this basket in an identical basket is my first aid items. Beside this basket and identical to the one below it, I have additional washcloths, more travel items, refill containers, and air freshener. Directly above, I 
have the towels, which are my most frequently used items in the linen closet. In this pink caddy, I have my essential oils and carrier oils. In these two baskets, I have additional cleaning supplies, towels, rags, and tools. In this cube, I have it labeled as hair, and in the two baskets above, that's exactly what it is. It is additional hair that I've purchased and that I use uh, repeatedly or can install at a later time. In this black basket, I have hair tools such as brushes, combs, and clips. In the basket above, I have headbands, hair ties, assorted colors, all corralled and organized together. Above that, I have additional bath mats and a humidifier. As I move and grow in life, it is my goal to be a more conscious and responsible consumer, to be a better steward of my money and space, to purchase only those things I need and use. It is my hope that you have enjoyed and taken something away from this video. Remember to shop around your house, repurpose items for your needs, and make your house home work for you, not just you working for it. Until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to follow along.